Welcome to another edition of Premiere Pro Quick Tips, where you can learn to be more creative in your video editing. What we're going to do is create a split screen video. So you have one video clip on the left side of the screen and the other clip on the right side of the screen playing simultaneously. Looking at my Premiere Pro workspace, I have two clips in my project panel. I'll take the first clip, put it on the timeline. Now for the second clip, I don't want to drag it to the end of the clip because then the clip will just, or the sequence will be just two clips playing one right after the other. We don't want that. So let's take the second clip and here let me open it up some. And we place it on top of the first clip. And I'm just going to trim this second clip to... In Premiere Pro, the layer on top has precedence over the layers on the bottom. So you're seeing this clip, which is overlaying the bottom clip. So if I turn off the top clip, you can see the bottom clip appear in the in the program panel. Okay, so we're going to let's start with the the top clip, which is what you see on the screen now. And we have to search for in the effects panel the crop effect. So let's take the crop effect and drop it onto the top video. We're going to need this crop effect for the second video as well. So let's go ahead and copy that to the video underneath. Let's go back to the top one. So basically we want to cut both videos in half horizontally and put one on the left and one on the right. However, since this video has the talent in the middle of the screen, we can't simply just take half the screen because the, the image of the person will be cut in half. Since we need to cut half of the video out, we can take a quarter of it from the left side and a quarter of it off on the right side. To do that, we come to the crop effect. And on the left, let's take out 25%. And on the right, we take out another 25%. So that's 50%. That's half the video. So now it's, it's the video is, is cut in half, but the half is taken out of the middle. So let's move this to one side to the left. So we come up here to our position effect. And we take the first setting and we just lower it. So I'm just dragging the cursor to reduce those numbers. And we can line it up just like that. All right, so we've done that to the first video. In the second video, we have to do the same thing. We're going to crop it in third. So let's take 25% out of here on the left side and 25% off the right side. As you can see, the bottom video has been cut by half, the middle half, but it's still underneath the first video. So to make things a little simpler to align it, I'm going to turn off the top video by clicking the eyeball here. That temporarily hides that video. So now I have to do the same thing with this video is reposition it to the right. So I go to the position uh, effect and instead of dragging, clicking on the number and dragging to the left, I'll drag it to the right. And we'll line that up like so. Now let me turn back on this other clip. And as you can see, we have the two videos. And as we scrub through, they're playing. If you notice a black line here, that means the two videos aren't quite butted up against each other. So you can fine tune the positioning here. So let's move the top or the left video over to the right just a bit. And I'm just going to move this over one pixel. So 480, it's going to be 481. 
And then I want to take the underlying video and let's move that in one. So instead of 1442, it'll be 1441. And these numbers may be different than what you're working with, depending on your resolution and, and other factors. So you'll just have to eyeball it and coerce the positioning either left or right until you get a good, uh, good connection between the two here. So that looks like that did it. If I scrub through, yes, looks looks pretty good. You want to make sure you don't move it too far to the right when you're adjusting because you may get the black uh, border lines on these edges, which you don't want. Now, back to the crop effect, there's this one parameter called edge feather. So let me click on the top video, which is the left of video clip, and and increase this feather and watch how we don't have that distinct straight line between the videos anymore. It'll make it less of a harsh line. Anyway, this is personal preference. Uh, for this scenario, I'll set it back to zero. And there you have it. So my buddy from Florida has moved to Los Angeles uh, recently, like a couple of weeks ago. So there's the video. One thing to be aware of is when you have multiple video clips playing at the same time, is if they all have, or if more than one have audio tracks, you may not want both audio playing. So uh, you want to mute one or more and just leave the audio that you want to hear unmuted. So in this case, I muted the, the road noise sound from the freeway and just left the, the vocal audio. And he's an avid skier, surfer, and whatnot, and I'm an avid snowboarder, ex-skier, and we're going to Mammoth this weekend. So that's it. A quick and easy way to do split screen in Premiere Pro. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I publish more of these quick tips, click the subscribe button somewhere on this page. Thank you for watching and thank you in advance for subscribing. Until next time, keep being creative.